Hey, Rachel. Hi, John. Thanks very much for having me. Congratulations on Domino. It's such a great song. Tell me a bit about the background there, you know, the, the writing, the production, how it all came around. Thank you so much. So um, I wrote Domino six years ago. Um, it was my first writing trip. I was in Sweden and it was, um, yeah, it was at the end of the week. And the inspo really behind it was I had written breakup songs all week and I was sick and tired of writing breakup songs. I don't know why, they're just easier to write, but I yeah. thought, right, let, let's write a nice, you know, a nice love song almost. So yeah, we came up with this in the last, very last day. And it wasn't until lockdown when I was, you know, the world just stopped and I, was listening through all my songs again and I was listening to Domino and I thought oh do you know what I, I really like this and then now you know I, I I'm on tour a lot with my job so it kind of the, the lyrics kind of relate to my life and I'm like god this is just all falling into place. <laughs> yes, of course and you know the production on it's perfect as well your voice really sits within that production who's been working with you? So I've been um, I've been working with Emily Erickson, who's written with the Kaiser Chiefs, um, Marcus Holmberg, who he has an artist project. He's they're all Swedish, um, and he's an artist project. He's called Seals. The producer on it is Jacob Redker and Anastasia. So they're all quite um, you know they're very successful in their own way. It's got such a good bridge. You've almost got two choruses in that song, and that's just greedy. That <laughs> that's music my ears, what every songwriter wants to hear, Joe. It's true though, isn't it? It's like, oh, the navigate bit. This is the chorus. No, the domino bit's the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, um, it is. It's always nerve wracking putting songs out, um, especially when you're from, you know, such a small area back home. I find it quite nerve-wracking um but i'm really excited for this one i think yeah I, well i hope people like it put it this way it sounds like a hit do you know what i mean so fingers crossed yeah, absolutely now tell me this as well uh, things have been going incredibly well for you lately you are now an integral part of one of the most inventive interesting bands iconic bands ever Duran Duran and you've been on the road doing massive shows how does that all feel until you do your, until you do a show and you're posting about it on social media so everyone at home sees it and then you're thinking well, hold on a minute that's I've just I've just done the Jimmy Kimmel show with Duran Duran like what it's not until like you know my family and friends are like Rachel like this is crazy and I'm like yeah yeah it is because when you're on the road obviously it is amazing but it's still a job so your head's kind of focused and you're just you know thinking about the performance but um I mean I'm like an excited puppy dog around here I just everything I'm like <gasps> it's mad <laughs> and you've always got this big demon smile on there and all the Duran fans are raving about you for give it all up it's such a good performance you must love that part of the set Rachel you must go okay step aside here we go <laughs> I do although I'm quite a nervous person so I I really have to psych myself up well not psych myself up but try not to psych myself out I guess right. because I could very easily and I have done it in performances I mean not every live show is perfect which is what's great about live shows but um I have done it where I've overthought so much that I'm just nervous and I'm not giving it as much as as uh as what I want to give it so but yeah, I mean the song. I love the song. Yeah. I remember when I first um, when I first met Simon. That, that was kind of my audition uh, song, I guess. He played it to me, and it hadn't been released. And I loved Tovalo, and um, he played it to me, and I thought, oh my gosh, this sounds like it should be played in Ibiza. And then, <laughs> sure enough, we did a show in Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, of course, and it is. It, it's such a, a highlight of the show as well. I mean, other songs in the set list. Um, I'm sure there are quite a few, but when you look at the list, you think I'm looking forward particularly to that one, that one, and that one. I'm sure the Duran fans would love to know what are your moments in the set list. I mean, I love Hungry. 
Hungry Like a Wolf, love it. Just it's just such a fun song. I love um obviously love Give It All Up. Um Ordinary World I always like. Just Simon's vocals on that. Like every night I'm just standing in awe. It's it's crazy. His voice is amazing. Um and I love Rio. That's normally at the end of the set. And everyone, as soon as people hear the intro, everyone just goes crazy. John's bass playing is just off the scale. Yeah, it? I know, I know. Funny, we were talking about this. Um, we were talking about this backstage. Um, and you obviously John, like he is he's so amazing. But when you hear him every day, you kind of forget. And then it's not until you listen back and you're like, oh my god, you are a legend. Yeah, like, legend's the word, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. For all of them, I mean, Roger's like a drum machine and Nick is like this sort of vending machine of amazing sounds. There's so much music in them. I know. I mean, all the guys are great. Everyone, they're all very different, but they're all just so lovely, which is which is great because when you're on the road, like I'm a very family oriented person. So it's great to have like a homely welcome and feel when you're when you're with such amazing artists. Um but yeah, everyone is just, everyone's great, where they really are. And Simon's such a good singer and front man. And you'll be picking up tips, I'm sure, there, Rachel, because whenever, you know, whenever Domino and the following album goes world class all over the place, you'll be doing these big shows in your own right. You must have thought about that. Oh, I mean, every time I go on stage, I mean, I love performing with Duran. It is great, but obviously the dream would be to do it on your own, on your own name. So I remember the Square Garden gig, that was a few weeks ago. And I just was like the whole time, I'm like, right, just, I go out and I pretend it's my show. That's sometimes the uh-huh. only, when you're so nervous, that's the only way to get through it. You just have to have this ego, stage ego. Um, and just I just pretend it's my show every time. <laughs> right. That's a good idea, though. Yeah, you're getting into yeah. practice nice and early. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning a lot from Simon. Just, I mean, he's such a great frontman, and um, he's really fun to watch as well. Tell me this: then, plenty of songs to follow up Domino with. I mean, are we looking at material for a gig, and hopefully in the near future? I'm hoping. I mean, I'd love to have my own show. I've done a few live shows um, in the past with my own stuff, but I would love. I have about, I would say I have a year's worth of singles now coming out. So we're going to, uh, the plan is to just, you know, roll them out one by one. And then hopefully we'll have a show. Hopefully I'll be inviting you to my show. I hope so. <laughs> You'll be on guest list, John, don't worry. <laughs> Plus 15. <laughs> mm, we'll see. Here, best of luck with it all, Rachel. You deserve every success with it. Domino is destined to be big. Let's see if we can make that happen. Thank you so much, John. And I'm so grateful for all your support. Thank you.